Ah, you used to really get nervous here. You're still afraid, aren't you? Johnny, stop it. I mean it. They're coming to get you, Jim Bob. Stop it. You're ignorant. They're coming for you, Jim Bob. Stop it. You're acting like a child. They're coming for you. Look, here comes one of them now. He'll hear you. Look, I'm getting out of here. Johnny. Officials across the nation are reporting that the dead are rising. What was once thought to be an isolated event has now spread across the country. The dead are rising and attacking the living. Nightcaps with the nightcaps. Oh, cigar. My God. Betty, hey, I had this great idea. You know what? We should go out sometime. Get away from John and Jim Bob, you know, all that studio stuff. Let's go catch dinner, maybe a night on the town. What do you think? Stop it, Kirby. Oh my gosh, what a weird day. It's so weird out there today. Somebody attacked us. Well, what are you guys doing? We were at the cemetery. What are you guys, stupid? It's been all over the news. The dead are coming back to life. They're attacking people and, you know, eating them. Oh, God. Hey, Jim Bob would hardly qualify as an hors d'oeuvre. Hey, maybe that guy was on a food challenge. <laughs> uh, you know, John doesn't even listen to the radio. He only listens to the nightcaps. You can't fault my taste. Too true. Well, if the world is ending, I'd like to have some of that whiskey. Now that is something that I can help with. Coming right up. Welcome to the season finale of Nightcaps with the Nightcaps. Our special Halloween episode. It has been one swinging and wild ride. Come on, boys. Some drinks, gentlemen. All right. Excellent. All right. Here's to uh, making it through our first season. Not through yet. Ah, whispering grass. Ah, don't tell the trees. You know, we started in December with our uh, holiday episode, and uh, I had no idea how it was going to go. Little did we know that Jim Bob was going to get drunk and storm off the set. Or break his food challenge. Twice. Or get beaten up by an interdimensional luchador. Nah. You don't know my hardships. Hey, we're just a stupid funk duel without you. <laughs> and Jim Bob lost both the competitions you had. Betty, you're fired. Ah! Tonight we'll be having some special guests stop by. Our good friends, Tale from the Crypt, will be joining us in the studio. Tale from the Crypt are probably one of the most interesting bands in West Michigan. And collectively, we've done probably around 10 shows with them. But just musically and artistically, uh, we've been so intertwined with them. You're in for a treat. Mm, I sure hope they make it. Yeah, I've been getting worried about them too. Mm. Yeah, more whiskey for me. Wow, man, man. You know, we should just be hunkered down uh, watching horror movies right now. Well, you mean like Romero's Dead films? Oh, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Jim Bob, what are some films that you like? Uh, uh, Full Seas House by the Cemetery is really good. It's kind of a hidden gem. And I usually watch uh, some episodes of the TV series Monsters. Great idea. Oh, excellent. I like some of the older films, like the original Haunting of Hill House. And I also really am totally wigged out by the silent film Nosferatu. That is scary. Have you seen the new Hunting of Hill House? I haven't, not yet. It's very good. I, rec I recommend it. 
And I love anything with the tall man, with Pamela Voorhees or Cenobites. Pamela? Are you sure her name's Pamela? Google it. Uh, <laughs> I also love American Horror Story. Oh, uh, what season? My, I, I think maybe uh, Asylum. I mean, Asylum okay. introduced the world to, uh, like, Schlitzy, I guess. Pepper. Well, Pepper, sorry. And just so everyone knows, uh, our song Schlitzy will be featured in the new Steve Belgard production, Schlitzy, one of us, that is coming out sometime next year. So keep your eye out for that. We also have a new recording coming out. Everybody loves a clown. Mm, you wish. So not only does uh, American Horror Story Asylum have a character that's based on Schlitzy, but it introduced us to Sister Jude. Ooh, tall drink of water. Oh, my love. Which, in turn, inspired us for a song. Wow. Off to the studio. To the studio! Yes! Yes, 
Mr. Jude. Some remedial training. <laughs> well, welcome back to Nightcaps with the Nightcaps. Uh, we were a bit frazzled earlier, you know, dead chasing us and so forth, so I didn't introduce ourselves. I'm I'm John Kite, this is Kirby York, the legendary Jim Bob Ewing. And if you've been uh, following our show all season long, be sure to hit the like and subscribe under pain of the pillory. Tell your friends, do it now. <laughs> you know, the world's ending anyway, so even if you don't like it, just watch it and hit the subscribe just, button because who cares? Do it. Yeah. What a way to go. Just do it. So our uh, special guests tonight, the T Tale from the Crypt, they are the nicest group of guys you'll ever meet, even though they may look quite terrifying. Uh, and I've never met anybody like their leader, Bunny Valer. He is so gracious and self-deprecating. Uh, I met him and then played a couple shows with him. After one show, he went the next day to the radio station where he was being interviewed and spent half the time talking about John Kite and then playing the new John Kite Kirby York song, Bittersweet Road to Love. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, yeah but listen, don't, do not get me started on Vale. Okay. Vale has such hot eyes. Buddy, aren't you uh, engaged to Jeff? Jeffrey never gets jealous. Well, hopefully uh, they uh, make it all on time. Yeah, I'm Jeff. Oh, always better. Nervous people, individuals. Do you think he's nervous just around Vale? Oh or man, Vale puts me at ease. <laughs> <laughs> man, it's getting thick out there. Hey, while we're waiting, we should check the mailbag. Betty, love, that's your cue. Betty. Ah! You know, uh, if I recall correctly, this didn't go very well last time. Uh, John, you got insulted. The Kirby, you were insulted. And uh, I was propositioned. <laughs> Sounds like a typical night out for the nightcaps. <laughs> Betty. Dear John, I recently watched episode three and listened to your song, It's Lonely. Wouldn't it have made more sense to go from the F to the D minor instead of the G sharp minor seven? Yes. Kirby York, what whiskey recommendations do you have if I'm on a limited budget? Well, if I'm on a limited budget, I probably want to try something like the Black Label uh, Jim Beam. It, it's a really nice tasting pour and it's affordable. It, what is this we're drinking? This is also really nice too. This is uh, Knob Creek, their nine year. Uh, it's a little more than the Jim Beam, but it's a very nice pour. Tastes like whiskey. It, indeed it does. <laughs> Dear Jim Bob, you got your ass beat by that luchador. Hey, that's not cool. You know, what would you do in a situation <laughs> like that, Betty? But if, you know, one of your buddies hands you a puzzle box, uh, don't mess with it. Just set it down on the ground and walk away from it. It's not really Betty's fault. <laughs> okay. Dear Jim Bob, I'm eight years old and not allowed to eat junk food. Would you apply as my babysitter this Halloween? Ah, uh, okay. Well, first of all, I'm not going to apply. Uh, but... I think at eight years old, you're going to be fine. Just eat whatever you want. Just tell your parents you got a babysitter and just, you know, you're old enough to watch yourself. So that's fine. I've been asking Jim Bob to imply himself repeatedly. John, will you bring any of your special guests back? Your super fan, Victor. Well, if, if they will consent to coming back, I would love to have them on next season. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, super fan Victor, Dirty Dave has already been on this episode. So be sure and hit the like button when you see him again. Kirby, my friend and I saw you in different parts of the country on the same day. Explain. Well, actually, <clears throat> I 
when you get to be at the uh, superstar status of the nightcaps and the world's ultimate basis like myself, you are forced to have security. I have body doubles everywhere, so it is likely that I've been seen in multiple places at the same time. Um, yeah. Betty, can you show us a few clips that they've seen people that have seen them look like Kirby? Thank you. Now super uh, bass player Kirby ultimate legend. Would you put the radio on? I'd love to hear some news. I will do that. <laughs> now you want to hear the radio. I know. I make consistent. Authorities are warning residents ever. Ladies and gentlemen, we are facing the end of the world, but you can join me, yes me, Frank Fontaine, for the final party of all time here in my atomic bunker. I'm holding a raffle for only $500 a ticket. You and your friends may join me, Frank Fontaine, for a dance party and autograph signing where you will be regaled with stories from my phenomenal star-studded past. Just send your checker money order to Frank Fontaine's New Frontier Atomic Bunker at 1313 Mockingbird Lane, Glendale, California, 91210. I'll see you there and do dress appropriately. Raffle winner is responsible for flight, food, and purposes. Autograph is limited to one item. Are indicating the president is calling on Congress to declare an official state of emergency. Man, it's getting louder out there. Should we see what's going on? Oh man, they need some help. Let's go. Hey, I'll get their drinks ready. Midnight Mike? Funky Fresh! Oh, and Vale, what has truly been happening? <laughs> hey guys, come on in, I got drinks for you. There you are, there you are. Oh. Hey, sir. Thanks, man. There you go. Ah. All right. Well, welcome to Tale from the Crypt. If there are three innovative bands in uh, West Michigan, Tale from the Crypt is all three of them. <laughs> so welcome, guys. <laughs> uh, so... Nam Shub. Nam Shub is the new CD by Tale from the Crypt. I love their first CD, but this one is stunning. Nam Shab is a, is a, what, a Sumerian uh, poem or a song that's meant for brainwashing? Uh, could you explain what, what was the, what does this mean? Well, first of all, I just want to thank you for having us down <laughs> here. I mean, uh, our pleasure. Uh, we've been in the crypt for so long, we don't even know how to communicate with people, but we appreciate it, <laughs> and uh, we're happy to play some music for you, but Namshub, yes, it's about brainwashing, and uh, uh, that's all I want to say about okay. that. Well, I will tell you that Kirby needs to listen to it because his brain does need some cleaning. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> uh, so Midnight Mike, what was it like to this band was already running, and you stepped in and just totally added a new dimension? What what was that like? And I showed Bunny a bass video I did. He said I want to join the band, and so we later on that year I joined the band and. Took from the crypt and got the ball rolling. And he adds a special spice that we never had before, I'll tell you that. Oh, absolutely. And of course, Vale is, well, he really is the backbone of this band. Those guitar riffs are chilling. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, well, so tell me a little bit about the creative process on, on this album, if it's okay to share that. Uh, a lot of it came from uh, improv. 
uh, just making up stuff on the spot, you know. Uh, we just, we like to play with each other. You have to be friends, I think, to be in a band, so. Yeah. That's what helps. You know? it, well, we we should try that sometime, guys. <laughs> 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 we keep working on that. <laughs> <laughs> <Some> so, <laughs> oh, so what song are you going to do for us tonight? Uh, we're going to do a funny little song uh, called uh, Iceberg Bully tonight. Iceberg yeah. Bully, Iceberg Bully. Okay, well, hey. I want to jump in and say real quick, we are really appreciative of you guys coming. We've been talking about having you down here since March wow. yeah. to yeah. cap off this season, so we're really glad you were available to come. Well, yeah, yeah. appreciate wow. it. So let's send them down to the studio. We can do that. Hold on, guys.
the shadow of the base. Great, guys. That will definitely be part of our post-apocalyptic listening. Oh, yeah. Man, the dead are growing. We need to do something about um, this. Wait a minute. Do we have any more weapons? Not here. What are we going to do? We'll never be able to oh. promote our health. Oh. He doesn't know how to use that thing. Yeah. Where do you think they went? What a tragic loss. Bale's gonna have to go on as a solo act. And what are we gonna do about the remote? We can use the curtain. Off to the studio. Did you grab the basket? Yeah. The remote, Jim. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right. Oh, no! no! Well, we have everything we need for the long haul. Instruments. Check. Check. Libations. Check. Check. Cigars. Cigars. What about Betty? I'm here. In the basket. Check. All right. Well, you know, Head is... I'm worried that the apocalypse of the living dead might upset him. He is a sensitive guy. What do I care about a zombie apocalypse? Ah, he's so cute. Well, you've all survived season one of Nightcaps with the Nightcaps. Comment below if you're interested in seeing us continue the show. It was born of the pandemic, but we've sure been having a blast. We're so glad you could be with us on this journey. And if any of you have seen my Corvair and that cute doll that ran off with it, please return either of them to me right away. And now we should end the season as we began the season. With a song. Oh. If you want to hang with the guys When the dead begin to rise Let up as the world 
paradise Nightcaps with the nightcaps We've got some food, so make a choice A bright place, no world complaints about no one We even got Betty, or at least her voice Nightcaps with the nightcaps Sitting by the spine with some whiskey sips Curry's amusing us with clever quips Out in the corner, smoking my cigar Morning is a Paco So now that we have hit it Is that really all we have? We do not pace ourselves very well. Hey, I recognize that sound. What? This sound. Do we have ice? Betty! Hey, hey. Hey.